Do you have a domain that you want to forward your website to or that you want as a custom domain? One website that doesn't really have a hosting platform to build on like WordPress or Squarespace, but you still need to verify it on Facebook. We'll follow these instructions and you will be able to do this. Hi, I'm April Hardiman. I'm an equestrian and I'm an equine business owner. Today's tip is all about Facebook ads and the Facebook ad uh, domain verification. Um, we're gonna be doing this on GoDaddy, but you can easily do this on any cPanel for any other hosting service. And if you need this tutorial on a different service, please let me know and I will be happy to um, make a video on that as well. All right, so let's dive right in. So we're already in Domain Manager. Um, and this is the domain we're going to do. So if you're in GoDaddy, you'll go to your domains uh, and then go down to the domain you want to do. All right. And then you'll scroll down all the way till you see manage DNS. All right. And then you're going to uh, come over to your business manager um, or your business settings in your business manager. So if you went to business.facebook.com, um, you get like all the business managers, you kind of come in here and you'll, you always will end up in your business settings. And then you come scroll down here to brand safety and then you click on domains. <clears throat> and we're going to add, well, it was ladyjeepers.life. So, all right, and this is just an example for the video. All right, so, and you'll see there's three different um, options. I do end up doing the meta tag one a lot when I have it hosted on WordPress or on another platform that it's actually the site is hosted on and I can put the um, this little tag almost in the same spot I put the pixel like in the header. So this makes life a lot easier but if you don't have that option for some of these domains that are going to be uh, boarded or are a custom domain um, but you still want to run ads with that domain and you'll want to do this. So we're going to go to the DNS verification. So um, you'll see it wants us to do a TXT record. So we'll come in here and add a TXT record. And then you would also see that it had an at. All right. And then for the value, it wants this right here. So you just click on it and it copies it. You'll see this is what the host field was for the at. All right, and then you paste it. We'll just save it. I just save it to what the other ones are there, there too. All right, and then sometimes it does take a second to um, upload or to kind of like settle. So then you come in here and verify. And there you have it, guys. It is all verified. And don't make and don't forget to add your assets. Like if you have a page or such, that is important to connect those assets. But for here, this was just an example of how to do the DNS for forwarders and for custom domain. Well, if you like this video and you want to see more of these videos, because I know so much, so many things have been changing with the iOS updates, make things a lot easier for you. Um, but if you want another hosting platform or how to do this, let me know, and I would. Be happy to help. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.